What's good YouTube? It's your boy Tony D2Y checking in once again. Tony Digital bringing back another 4K visual. Back with another banger today guys on a very special video guys. Today we are doing the top 10 sneaker releases for the month of November. November's right around the corner. So guys, you know we had to go through this again. Go through the top 10 sneakers that we'll be releasing for the upcoming month. And there is a lot of bangers in the building for this month. And speaking of top 10 sticker releases for the month of November, I wanted to talk about one of the top products that I've been using for the past month, which is Tej Hanley. This is one of the best skincare products that I've been using for quite some time. You guys know I get the root off the red nose reindeer and you haven't seen it for a moment now. So I wanted to talk a little bit about today's sponsor to you guys. So let's get straight into it, man. Let go. I wanted to talk about Tej Hanley, which is a men's skincare product. They feature various different products on their website which features all the assortments needed for a healthy skin face for men. They have a acne system as well as a clean skin care system, which I'm using right now and I'm using level three. And this is a subscription service, which you get these products each and every month. And you can try a worry-free subscription right now where you can basically try out the products and if you don't like it, you can get your money back. I've been using this for about a month now and my face has been clean. You guys know, that I get the Rudolph the Red Nose Reindeer a lot around the nose. And I've been using their whole system. When you unpackage the box, you get all the instructions that are needed to keep your face up to date for night and day, for day and night, I would say. They have all the things that are needed. I've been using it, I've been loving it. And you guys can use each and every level as far as subscription base, depending on the budget that you guys have. Now what you're gonna get inside the box depends on which levels you're gonna get. With level one, you're gonna get the daily facial wash, you're gonna get the scrub, the two-time scrub that's used twice a week, and then also the AM slash PM facial moisturizer. For level two, you're gonna get the eye cream. You put this around your eyes, this helps with the raccoonness. You know, if you get those dark circles or uh, real sags and all that, you wanna lighten up the skin and give it a nice, bring that skin back to life. You got those dark raccoon circles, which I can get sometimes for working long, long hours. So you put that around there and it helps brightening up and bringing the skin color black back to life, you feel me? And then lastly, for level three, you get the super serum, which is basically a combination of antioxidants, vitamins, and all the above, mixed together, mashed up, put on your face, and it brings the skin back to life, keeping it hydrated, smooth, silky, and very, very clean. So this whole little package, the level three, which I'm using is 45 bucks a month. You get level two for $35 a month, and level one for $25 a month. I will link you down below in the description, a link that will get you guys a good discount rate on the products if you wanna try it out. And if you don't like it, you can get your money back guaranteed. Trust me though. If you guys know me and you really watch the channel, you will know what I mean when I'm talking about the pimples and all that, because I usually get a lot of them on the nose and I've been using this product right here and I have not had any problems whatsoever. Very nice face. So check them out. Shout out to Teach Hanley for the day's sponsorship. And let's get straight into the video, man. Let go. Coming in at number 10 is the Jordan 8 N7 Pendleton. Now, this shoe is phenomenal. I cannot lie. Uh, I'm not really a fan of too much going on with new Jordan releases, but I like this shoe, and even Nikki, she loves this shoe. The Jordan 8 N7 Pendleton will be releasing on November 7th. Retail will be $200, and this is also releasing overall on Nike. The Air Force One Low, they have a, like an N7 Pendleton Air Force One Low, which is tan with a Pendleton type of pattern. And I've always liked the Pendleton type of patterns that Nike have brought out in the past. They've done IDs with them on Air Forces. But now they're bringing them over to the Jordan 8. So I'm looking forward to this. Pendleton in general, that type of pattern, I love it. So much that <clears throat> you might see Sample rocking some Pendleton pretty soon. But yeah, I love this Jordan 8 Pendleton. Hopefully I can see them in hand, maybe Soul Play. I don't know if they're getting them because they would have been had them by now. So this may be a very special limited or just special edition release, especially with that $200 price point. But I had to put this one at number 10 because it's a beautiful shoe. Let me know you guys' thoughts and opinions on this one down below. I just, just like, If you don't have to talk about anything else, but let me know about this one. Do you like it or not? Because I love it. Coming in at number nine is the Yeezy 500 Stone. This thing will be retailing for $200, and the release date is November 23rd. Overall, I'm a little iffy when it comes to this shoe. Me and Bull was talking about this. I'm not so, like, I love neoprene, but this neoprene with this 500, the pods pop out the side. I'm not really feeling that vibe on that, but I need to see them in hand. The way the shoe looks in pictures and they're laced, they just don't look good at all, if you ask me. But 
when I see them in hand, I could change my mind. The colorway, it's nice, but the materials used, I'm not a fan of it. However, the same type of neoprene is being used on the 500 highs, or the mids, I think they're calling it, and I don't really have much of a problem with it. So that's why I need to see this in hand, see how they really look, see how they look on foot before I make my final decision. But it's a 500, it has a little bit of hype to it. I had to put it in there at number nine, and I like the shoe, but I don't know if I'm a copy. I need to see more about this shoe to make my final decision. Coming in at number eight is the Jordan 1 Bloodline. These are releasing on November 29th. The retail is $160. This is the one that was like called also like uh, No Man Can Fly or Flyer. It was some other alternate name that was used, but now it's called the Bloodline. The quality on this shoe looks immaculate. I'm pretty sure this shoe is going to be the number one shoe for a lot of you guys out there, it being a one, the quality, the colorway, it rings bells, you feel me? But I have spoken my piece on this type of colorway because we've seen about five different versions of this colorway drop this year. Is that gonna stop me from getting the shoe? More than likely not, but I I mean, I don't have that colorway at all now. I sold my Sports Illustrated, I sold my Gym Reds because I saw this colorway. Uh, so, you know, it is what it is, but this shoe is going to be really dope. I think it's going to be hype around it. I think it's going to be selling out pretty fast instantly. So we'll just have to wait and see how the, you know, population looks at this. But it's definitely going to be a hype beast shoe. I can tell. I can just feel the vibes already. I like the shoe. Uh, it, I'm pretty sure some of you guys love it. So I had to throw that thing at number eight. Coming in at number seven is the Jordan 5 Island Green. Now, this is more than likely it may be somewhat of a pack because the Jordan 5 Island Green is dropping and there's also a 13 Island Green that's dropping and they feature this like Tiffany type of colorway to it. The Jordan 5 is definitely the better part of the pack. I think the 13 is gonna be more of a GR and that 5 is gonna be more limited if you just ask me, that's just what I think at least. The 5 features a 3M hint, you hit it with 3M and it's like some type of patterning, almost like a tropical, I don't know what the hell it is. It looks like duck feet on it, I don't know. But the quality looks extremely dope. $225 is the price point on these. So you're telling us off the rip that there's going to be some type of difference to it. Like Bull said in his video, the box, the, the quality, it, something's going to be different about the shoe. Actually, that was in my video. But I'm looking forward to it. I want to get my hands on this shoe and possibly the 13s. <laughs> yeah. Coming in at number six is the BBC Reebok collaboration. This is the Complex Con collaboration pack, the Complex Con pack. I don't know the specific name of it yet, but this is like a complex con exclusive supposedly. This is the BBC and the Reebok Answer version of the shoe. Now there's a whole different lineup of multiple shoes that will be releasing during complex con with the BBC Reebok collaboration. But out of that pack, I like the most the Reebok Answer. This shoe looks awesome. It features that whole upper, it's got pinks, yellows. It's definitely giving you the vibes of a BBC shoe, a BBC collaboration, the ice cream type of vibes as well. It's the color, the, 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 the palettes, the uh, pastel colors in there. Maybe I'm just talking a little bit too much, but I just love the colorway being thrown on a Reebok question and the material looks like it's going to be immaculate. So be looking for these to drop during Complex Con. Now, whether they're gonna drop afterwards, I don't know, but what I've heard is that this is a Complex Con exclusive. It's not going to drop anywhere else. Stay tuned, because your boy maybe in the building but that is number six coming in at number five is the jordan one fearless we've done reviews on this already this is releasing this upcoming weekend it's a dope shoe i love it the patent leather on the uppers immaculate dope awesome um yeah it's just a great looking shoe if you ask me but uh i would say keep your eyes peeled because this thing may be limited you may not be able to get your hands on it i don't really know so Keep your eyes peeled, man, because this thing is looking like it's going to be very similar to the same type of feelings that you got with the Shattered Backboard 3.0s. The color this is also a part of the Fearless Pack, like the Shatters was as well. But this shoe, clean slate. A lot of people that weren't messing with that crackled grease, as Bull calls it, the nasty look of the Shattered are going to love the clean, nice, shiny look when it comes to this Fearless. This thing is releasing, though, this upcoming weekend, which I believe is November. What day? The second. So stay tuned. Number five, for this one. Coming in at number four, also supposedly releasing on November 2nd, is the Yeezy 500 Soft Vision. I've been waiting on this shoe since October. It was actually in the October release, I think, because I thought it was gonna drop. It was pink, 
Breast, Care Aware, Breast Cancer Awareness Month was October. I don't know why every time I say it, I mess up, but it didn't drop. So I don't know what's going on. It got pushed back or maybe it was never releasing in that time. But this thing is dropping. It's coming supposedly November 2nd. So hopefully Kanye delivers on the soft vision and we get our pink Yeezy 500s. I know I want them. Let me know about you guys. Do y'all? Because I definitely do. Coming in at number three, this is a dope shoe. Don't get me wrong. Um, it could. It's probably number one for a lot of you guys. But for me, nah. I try to make these lists about you guys and about me mixed together because we got some similar thoughts but some of you guys got some different thoughts but number three is the travis scott air force one don't see that release day on this shoe it may not even be fully releasing in november but i had to put it on the list because more than likely it will drop in november i feel i'm getting vibes of it we're seeing the shoe pop up over and over and over and over now and it's feeling like it's about that time for that thing to pop its cherry. Retail supposedly $160, it may go up. I feel like it should be more than that. Well, let me say that. I don't think it should be more than, well not, because regular Air Force Ones cost like 90 bucks. So once, yeah, nah, it's right, where, it's right where it needs to be. I think the Travis Ones, I was saying it more so because I thought Lowe's were going for 160, but I'm thinking it's Jordan Ones, not Air Force One Lowe's. But yeah, 160 on this, we'll have to wait and see. Travis Scott has had an amazing year once again when it comes to these Jordans and these Nikes and the collaborations. Back to back, he's done with his Thug Thizzle. Virgil, last, uh, he, Virgil's first year was great. His second year was great. But I, I, feel like, I feel like for the sophomore year in sneakers, like you think about it, right? You got like Drake who came through freshman year with his shoes. It went phenomenal. Sophomore year kind of died off. OVO shoes are kind of like, yeah. You know, like the H drop. They don't hold no weight. Now, you can get them for like a little bit over retail. Virgil, the whole top 10, crazy, explosive, and mind-boggling, mind-boggling. And then he comes with his second version of the shoe. They still got hype. Don't get me wrong. An off-white Nike is going to sell out. But it seems like with Travis, it gets better over time. With Virgil, it was great, and it kind of like, it's still there. It's not like doing this. It's like still there and it's riding, but it's like, the Jordan, you know, with, with Travis, it was like, I, I'm trying to think how, where it started. Was it the four? Because I feel like he did some like 33s or something too. It was, then it was the Travis Scott fours. And then it was, then it was the, uh, the Air Forces. Like, I mean, it was just, it was just going up and going up and everything else. And after it's just, it's just going more and more and more. It's not stopping. But anyways, I had to put this at number three and it's the Travis Scott Air Force One. Coming in at number two is the Fear of God Oatmeal. Release date on this is November 2nd. This 2nd of November is going to be a crazy weekend. It's a lot going on. That's this weekend. Complex coming. That's maybe why everything, well, I don't think Adidas or Nike is going to be there. This weekend is the 2nd. It's going to be a big weekend this weekend. And sneakers. Get your money right. These things are retailing for $350. More than likely, I'm not going to get them. It's going to be 100 with you. Um, $350 on this shoe. I love the colorway. I love the fear of God. I love the sole on it. Everything about this shoe, I love it. But more than likely, I'm not going to get it. So... It is what it is, but I had to put this thing at number two because I'm a fan of the Fear Gods. I'm a fan of oatmeal, so it is what it is. And last but not least is the Yeezy 380 Alien, set to release November 16th. Suppose uh, I think this more than likely is more so an official date than not. Uh, $230 is the retail on this thing. I'm looking forward to it. I've been looking forward to this shoe since I've seen it. I like the model. I can't lie. It's cool. It's dope, and I'm happy, and I'm excited for a new model from Yeezy. That's why I had to put this thing at number one because it's something new, something different, and it's bringing back those Yeezy hype vibes that we all like. Believe it or not, when it comes to Yeezy, we're all hype beasts when it comes to the Yeezy brand. You know what I'm saying? I like what Yeezy does. I like the quality. I like the boost. I like the look. And I like the colorway. Alien Nut Sacks, can't hate on it, man. I like it. So let me know you guys and thoughts and opinions on that one. And if it's your number one, comment down below. So yeah, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Make sure you leave a like, comment down below, subscribe to the channel if you're new, and let me know your list down below. At least let me know your top three or top five, where you stand at. I'm loving these Yeezys. I'm waiting on these two, these these 380s, 230s are kind of, but you already know what it is. It's a little bit more higher cut, so they're gonna they're gonna put some more money on our books. You feel me? So. It is what it is. But let me know you guys' thoughts and opinions down below in the comment section. Hit that like button, comment, and subscribe. And it's your boy, Tony D2Wild, checking in. Check it out. I love you guys.